Good morning, guys. I am up and ready to give you all this vlog of what I eat and do in a day being pregnant. <laughs> I'm very tired. I didn't sleep much last night because the bigger you get, the more complicated sleep becomes. And baby girl kicked all night long, so... I am a little bit sleepy, but let's get this started. <music> start preparing to take my prenatal but before I do any of that I always have to um eat something because as you know eating with a prenatal without a prenatal you can but it's not really if you don't want to feel sick I wouldn't recommend it so I'm gonna hop in the shower and I am going to um I think I have a few things to do today I have a, a massage appointment I'm going to get my car clean and I'm going to get some lunch. So you all will get to see what I do in a day while being pregnant. Today is Saturday. It is Labor Day weekend. Um, of course, my life has changed since being pregnant. I can't do all of the things that I would normally do if I wasn't pregnant. However, um, I'm going to make the best of this Saturday and I'll be back. I love this little robe. It's so comfy and I cannot wait until winter time because I know it's going to keep me warm. But before I start my cleaning on my face, I have to put my nail back on. These little press on nails will try it. Okay. All good. Okay. So I have been using uh, these SJ clinical products since I've been pregnant. My skin does not break out or um, I have a bump like here and there just due to hormonal changes but i've been using these products on my face and they have been working miracles um it is a three-step product um and it is the cleanser it's the cleanser and then it's the hydrating cream and then you get the refreshing cleanser here um and they've been doing well and then i whenever i want to remove my makeup i use this daily dissolve um that I got as, as, as a gift from my um, gender reveal. However, typically I use my Urban Art skin products. I haven't really had a, I didn't feel a need to wear it while I've been pregnant because my skin has been very clear, which I am very thankful for um, because I do know that that is not everyone's portion. Um, so again, I am extremely grateful for uh, just having really clear skin. And so I'm going to start with putting a little water. I like to put a little water on my face first before I apply the cleanser just to get it wet. Um, I know a lot of people do like to use a brush to, um, to clean their face when they're applying the cleanser. For me, I just find it very easy to, I, I find it for me, I find it easier to just use my hands because it's a lot more gentle um, than the brushes. I know they do have soft brushes, but I prefer just using my hand um, and just really getting in there, cleaning it up. Okay, and I'm gonna use my face rag to um, remove the cleanser. I, I'm still elementary. I cannot just dump my face in there, so. Okay, 
you want to really make sure that you remove all of the um, daily cleanser off of your face because next you're going to apply the toner. Um, I did plan to get a um, facial done because I do see that I have a lot of um, dead skin around my nose, but the girl that I was going to book is extremely book and I really wanted to try her. So I am having to wait it out another week. And next I'm going to just, you can use a cotton ball. I use the cotton pads because I like them better. Um, and I usually spray like three sprays on the, the cotton pad. That probably was more than three. Then I do the back just because and I just take it and and so I use one side to apply on one side of my face and then I use the other side of the cotton pad to apply on the other side of my face. And as you can see, I use this, I use this day and night. Y'all forgive my nail. I use this day and night. So I do these steps day and night. So my face is pretty clear here. Um, and then I'm going to now do step three, which is the hydrating cream. And I put this amount, and this may be too much because it gets your face pretty oily. And I have like dry to oily skin. Um, I do have one of those uh, jade ball rollers. I do those when I want to just be, when I'm not like, you know, when I'm not being extra, like when I'm just really relaxing, I'll do that. But for the time being, this is just my face. This is my steps in the morning. And then I apply sweet almond oil to my tummy to prevent scratch marks. I prefer this sweet almond oil. It has worked for me. Um, currently, I don't have any scratch marks. Praise God. We're going to pray that that is the, that is my portion for the remainder of my, of my pregnancy. Um, and so, yeah, I use that and I apply it all over my body. Um, it is time for me to get some more. So that is something that I will do. I will go into, I believe I got this from the hair store or either Walmart, but either way I'll go to one of those places, probably both and pick some more up because this stuff is good. I was using bio oil. I had no complaints about bio oil. I just prefer um, this almond oil because I noticed that it locked into my stomach um, and it lasted a lot longer than the bio oil for me. So um, typically I just apply and I lather it in my stomach and I do, I do that about two times um, just to make sure that I'm getting everything Last but not least, I did apply some Vaseline um, to my lips. Ladies, this is $1 at Dollar Tree. And I love it because pregnancy does bring on the dry lips. So I live by this. So I do have a little bit of laundry to do um, to complete before the weekend is over. So I'm just gonna load my washer and then I'll prepare breakfast and take my prenatal prenatal vitamin.
I did have a few dishes that I needed to clean up and prior to cooking I like to just um have my kitchen clean I didn't have much just like three or four dishes um and then I wanted to wipe the stove down because I did just move into this apartment um so I wanted to make sure that the stove was clean and that everything was together I prepped some like a quick lunch yesterday so I just had those dishes left um over and that is about it um y'all do y'all see how my face my skin is glowing from that that um that cleaning those those cleaning products like um the facial products that I use on my skin I love how um, it makes my skin look afterwards. Um, but yeah, back to what I'm doing right now is just cleaning the dishes. And in a second, I am going to make some every, I'm going to make avocado and egg on a everything bagel toast, which is so good. Um, it's like my favorite thing to eat in the mornings. I pretty much eat the same thing. If I don't use the everything bagel, I turn around and I use um English muffin but for the most part it's usually one of the two types of bread okay so here is the moment we've been waiting for it's time to take the prenatal mamas know the struggle of a prenatal like I'm a lot better now, but in the beginning of my pregnancy, I could not take this prenatal. However, I do take Mary Ruth's prenatal, postnatal uh, liquid multivitamin. Um, I got the berry flavor because it tastes a lot better. Well, I assume that it tastes a lot better purchase prior to purchasing it. Um, it is not bad. I can't swallow it. I just, do, ugh, I just don't. It used to make me so nauseous. Um, and it has all the vitamins that you need in it. Um, and then I also take a vitamin B complex as well. And I do take vitamin C. Um, I am going to do an egg on a bagel. I was, I don't know. I didn't know if I felt like a bagel or an English muffin, but I think today we're going to go with the bagel just because I'm going to be out for a little bit. And, um, I'm going to, I don't want to be too heavy whenever I eat before my massage, but I do want to be. I do want to. I do want baby girl to have something because if not, she'll start kicking, and we have to feed her. So I'm gonna go ahead on and take this. So what I use to take my prenatal vitamin is my measuring spoon because you do have to take two tablespoons of this. So I use my measuring spoon to just help me, and I absolutely positively do not like taking the prenatal vitamin at first um just so that i could take a prenatal vitamin i was taking gummies um now that i'm able to now that they don't make me nauseous anymore or this doesn't make me nauseous anymore um i do take this you do want you can add this to a smoothie it does say you can add to water i have put it in my smoothies a couple times um i will say that um this is this last you prenatal and then so after you have baby so here we go usually i'll cut up a lemon so that i can suck afterwards but
So, I did make a little bit of guacamole or avocado rather, just to go on my bagel to eat with my egg. Um, I'm tired. breakfast and went back to sleep i slept for about three hours um which caused me to have to reschedule my appointment for my massage so i am headed there now um it is luckily it's five minutes away from my from my apartment so i will be able to um i will be able to still get a massage today i am actually getting ready to head there now um, I didn't put on anything because I am going to go and get lunch. It is still fairly early, even though I slept so long. I feel like it's like later in the day. I just threw on this little top, um, and this skirt, nothing extra, just something that I could slip on and slip off for my massage and something appropriate for lunch because any other day I do not dress up. Okay. And I was going to try and do my makeup today. There will be no makeup, okay? It's gonna be bare face today. Um, I may do it. See, the problem is I can't do my makeup two days in a row. I have to do one day or the other day. So like, if I wear makeup today, I'm not wearing makeup tomorrow. If I wear makeup, if I don't wear makeup today, I will wake up, wear makeup tomorrow. Um, I do plan to go to church tomorrow and go to dinner. I'm still undecided because the pool does look good and I kind of want to just chill by the pool and relax. I'm really not that hell bent on going anywhere because of COVID. I have to be extra careful because I am not vaccinated. So once I get to my appointment, I will check back in with you guys. So this is the room where I am getting my massage. I was not able to get a video of the entrance, but here's my massage. Okay, so that massage gave exactly what it was supposed to give. It was so bomb. 
Um, I went to Euphoric Body Works here in Dallas. It was so bomb. Um, and I am now at the gas station about to get some gas. And I'm going to head out to look into some baby stores. I know I said that I was going to get lunch, but I kind of got some fries before I had my massage because I was a little hungry and I'm not really hungry right now. But I think I'm going to go and get some I am going to grab some lunch, but first I'm going to go by um, and look at some baby stuff. I can't help it. I cannot be out and do things for myself and not look for baby stuff. I don't know. I just, it's a habit. It's just hard to do. Like I always find myself looking for baby things. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get gas and I'll check back in later. So Burlington is my favorite store. I have literally been in here and I did find her some cute little chunky baby shoes I love these and I'm not really in the mood to go through all of these clothes but you know I think I'm going to so after this I'm going to go and get me some food and that is going to be it for my day I have made it, well, I came to Applebee's to get a quesadilla burger, and this is all that I have left is a half of it and some fries. That's what I was craving. So I have made it back home, y'all. Today was a good day. It was a long day. Um, I really didn't do anything, as you can see, but that is what my day, like a, a normal Saturday for me looks like, just getting food, shopping for baby bliss, and um pampering myself most of my days that are spent alone on on the weekends are like that um if i don't go out and get a pampering i do it at home so yeah thank you so much for tuning in um i'll see y'all on another video we're gonna take a shower and we're gonna i'm probably gonna do a face mask i'm tired she's full i just ate that quesadilla burger um so yeah thank you